Hey everyone, it's Dream Theater 444, and we're gonna take a look and see what's the message, what's, what comes out of the box here. All right, these will be general messages. It may not apply to your situation, but let's take a look and see what's the first card. All right, so you may have triggered someone's insecurities or someone has triggered yours, all right, but someone is triggered here. Shame. So now they're ashamed of something. Someone is triggered and they're ashamed about something that either was done, something that was said, something that came out. Someone here is ashamed of their action. What's this that came out? You judged everything about me, but I accepted your flaws and all. So someone could have judged you harshly. And I feel like the table is turned because now they're ashamed and their insecurities is coming out. Something could be about a cousin or some that came out here as well. But, um, yeah, I feel like someone feels judged in a situation. And whoever was, was judging someone, they accepted this other person just the way they are. Now, this person is, is triggered and their insecurities are showing and they're ashamed. Okay, get with the person who makes time, sacrifices, and shows you how they really feel. Okay, so someone needs to make better choices when it comes to who they're dealing with because they may have been dealing with someone who was not, were not willing to sacrifice for them, were not re ready to open up, someone emotionally unavailable, someone who may have been judgmental towards you. But I feel like if you were in this situation, you showed someone genuine love. And I don't know if it's something that you said or something that you did that triggered this person, but they are ashamed, honey, and not ready for a serious relationship. Yeah, they're not ready for a serious relationship, which is why they why they judged you on everything. This person was coming off very immature, okay, very petty, and I feel like they were trying to pick you apart because they needed a reason to, you know, to get out of a situation when they felt like it. You know what I'm saying? If a person continues to find little nits and little flaws in you, when they're ready to go dip off because it's too much for them to handle, they're gonna look at they're gonna point out all those things as an excuse for why things are not working. You got somebody here sending a friend to either talk to you, to send a message to you, or something here. I don't know if you have someone blocked, but it looks like someone wants to send someone over to talk to you. Someone is ashamed and they have lost their their spiritual protection for something that they have done okay someone did something possibly in their hometown or this this is um, someone from your hometown or in their home yeah in their hometown maybe someone did something in their hometown that now they hmm. Someone could have judged you for where you live as well, where hometown. All right, maybe someone is sending someone to, um, I hope someone's not sending someone to try to test you or something like that. I, I hope that's not the case. But you have confronted by another man or woman. All right, so I feel like someone in this situation is being confronted by another person. Now, with, with it coming up under cousin, it could be someone's cousin confronting someone or something but there's a confrontation that takes place here loyal and faithful yeah you need someone who's loyal and faithful to you it's up under get with the person who makes time sacrifice i feel like you have a loyal faithful partnership that's coming to you okay someone's not ready for a serious relationship and not only that they they could be playing games as much as sending someone over to you or they could have done this in the past to try to test you yeah guiding someone towards you like I said someone who you may have been dealing with recently or are dealing with is not ready for a serious relationship but you're being someone is being guided towards you okay or who's loyal and faithful because it's right next to that I also feel that someone who's not ready for a serious relationship is being guided towards you <laughs> heads up the money, the money you need is coming on time. So that's a heads up for someone. The money you need is coming on time. So don't worry. You're going to get what you need right in time to get those bills paid. 
to get those kids what they need. The sex is going to be fire. Someone could be dealing with the fire sign. Um, I don't know. Some of you are going to have an encounter with someone. The sex is going to be fire. Or like I said, someone could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What else do we have? Look at you in your winning season. You're walking into your winning season. All right? Things around you. The money you have is coming in time. You're going to have a loyal and faithful lover. The sex is going to be fire. I like it. I like this for you. Let's see. I tried to break you before you got too far. So here's this person. For some of you, this person wanted to break you, which is why they judged you, why they criticized you. You know, for some of you, they even may have shamed you in some way. But I feel like this person has been triggered and now they're ashamed. You know, because something that they is being revealed about them or maybe you see them differently and they're ashamed. But they were the ones that were trying to break you. Okay, so grown man shit. I feel like someone being a man about it or someone needs to be a man about it or be a woman about their, their ways. I feel like right here, because this is up under loyal and faithful, you, if you're a feminine, you have a masculine coming who is not going to play. Okay, they are being led towards you. And whoever this is that's love bombing you, who has love bombed you in the past, this person is being guided towards you as well. But they are not. We got two categories here. Let me break it down for you. One says, get with the person who makes time, sacrifices, and shows you how they really feel. Loyal and faithful and grown man shit. That's one person. Then you got this person not ready for a serious relationship, guiding someone towards you and love, love bombing. So I feel like this person here is not to be trusted. And this could be the person who's sending someone here for some reason to either tell you something or send some, try to test you or something. I don't know. Hopefully it's not a confrontation of some sort. All right. But yeah, what else here? We got online scam. So I feel like someone could be doing something online. The color yellow could mean something for someone. What else? Hooking up online. Wow. Oh. Yellow. Is there, isn't there a, a website called Bumblebee? That's what I'm thinking of. Bumblebee. I think that's a dating site. Bumblebee. Okay, so someone could be hooking up online with someone. They could get scammed by someone online. Oh my goodness, be careful. You got quality time. It's time to be alone for a while to sort through your feelings. So for some of you, it's time for you to spend quality time with yourself. To be alone, to sort through how you feel right now. Um, you could be taking a break from whatever this is with this person. And just clearing your mind because maybe this is something that you you just recently came out of. Some of you, this is something that you're going through right now um, that's taking place at the moment. Maybe it's just time for you to quiet your mind and be alone. Okay, because I feel like for some of you, you have blocked somebody off and this is why they are triggered. Um, yeah, because they were playing in your face. Whoever this was, they were playing in your face. You caught on to it and you're focused on yourself right now. What's this? Meet the family. You could be meeting someone's family very soon, okay? You could be meeting someone new, and they could want you to meet the family, or someone could be getting ready to meet your family. What goes around? So somebody's going to receive karma here. Um, what goes around comes back around. So I feel like somebody is, um, don't provoke me. Oh, wow. Is that a threat? So you got somebody that's a little a little pushy here that may feel that you're trying to provoke them, maybe with a new lover or something like you. Okay, what's this? Addictions. Okay, yeah, somebody has addiction. Sex, drugs, alcohol, gambling. So, yeah, be careful if you're dealing with someone who you know has some type of addiction. This person could get angry. This person could get very triggered, okay, but especially if they feel embarrassed. So be careful if you're moving on from someone. Um, there is a new, a new suitor that's coming in who's serious and that you can trust. Okay, who may want you to meet the family, or you may have met this person's family. Whatever the case, guys, I'm gonna leave this message here. Leave it in the comments if you resonate with any part of this message. I will see you guys on the next one.